Well guys, welcome back to another fine edition of Sunday Swim here at Maddie Fish. Some of you that have seen these before may be wondering why uh, I'm starting out here. Um, well, if you're new to the channel, um, my other big tank leaked, which is why this tank looks a little overcrowded right now, um, which would be this cube here. So I moved some things around in my living room and freed this whole six and a half foot wall up. That being said, hint, 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 maybe later this week, hint, hint. Um, anyways, now that we've gotten through that, let's get into the fish this week. Uh, hold on, I'm going to have to turn my TV off as clearly uh, we're broadcasting football as well. One second, guys. Okay. There we go. So, zero fish loss so far. Very good considering. Um, as many of you all know, the other tank leaked on Wednesday. And these guys are doing just fine. Uh, check the water parameters, which I knew wasn't going to be an issue anyways. I'll explain why in a minute. But doing just fine. Zero ammonia, five parts per million um, nitrates, and zero nitrite. Um, and our pH is holding steady around eight. So perfectly fine. Exactly where we need to be. Everybody's doing all right. Sands being what I would call cramps. I know some people keep far more African cichlids in a tank this size. This is 112. Um, I've seen people with twice this amount of fish in a 75 um, but you know to each their own to me this is crowded some people would agree some people might say no uh, to me it's crowded um, which is why I found a solution um, but again hint hint we'll talk about that later this week so stay tuned for that now reason I was never worried about the level of filtration on this tank for this really my only worry was the aggression from the Mbunas that were in this tank with these haps and peacocks that had to be moved out of here over here out of necessity um, not being used to that or you know just not being ideal for those fish to be together um, but filtration wise so we have the 110 hang on the back over there which is strictly just for extra polishing purposes that was already here we took the FX6 that was under the 140 gallon cube and that is hooked up here. And then of course, as most of you also know, down low we have our big sump system going as well. So no worries here on filtration. Everybody doing just fine. There's this probably a couple scratches and things that you normally don't see on my fish just because of having to combine two hierarchies that have basically been ground up with each other so to speak um, pretty much all of these fish have been in their own separate hierarchies with each other uh, in the two separate tanks since they were under two inches long um, if you've been following this channel for that long which has been a few months now then thank you very much and if you're new here um, we're all about growing this channel and watching these fish grow together and you know continuing on this cichlid journey um, now that being said a couple other things that need to be noted from this week um, so let's take a look at the um, small colony tank that I was working on for feeders with ghost shrimp and minnows uh, with the emergency that happened that kind of went out the windows this little tank some things have changed in here as well um, as you see there's a cichlid um, so there's one minnow left in here um, you know again not ideal there was six but there are two cichlids in here so we have Fry Guy, the original, that you've been seeing in a lot of those little shorts with the Fry Guy shorts. And then we also have Fry Girl down here. Um, two different batches. But I just put them in here because these little guys, I know if I put them in the 112, they would go and hide in the rocks where all the Mbuna that were already in there uh, before I had to combine after the leak 
um, already have established territories and you know I have a fair idea of who these fish came from and I really you know want to see what they're gonna end up looking like um, and I didn't want to take a chance of anything happening with them um, so I put them in here for now and we will revisit the colony tank later for ghost shrimp um, once we can do some shuffling but for now these guys are doing just fine in here they're living their best life probably less stress for them um, so they can grow up a little more but fry guy is out of the jungle right now but I'm very curious to see what he's going to end up looking like. I'm pretty sure he is a product of the Pundamila Nyeri cichlid and the Salmon Hap cichlid. Salmon Hap being the female. Um, I think that Fry Girl here, which again, these guys are really young, so Fry Guy, Fry Girl, maybe not, you know, one day, but um, TBD on that one. Um, but I really am curious to see what a cross between the Salmon Half and the Pundamila Nyeri is going to look like um, and whose traits are going to get what, especially because these are from two different batches. Um, I can say that without a doubt. And also when I was draining down the cube over here once it did leak and it got really low, I'm not going to be able to find them for you, but down in the sump down there, um, there are three brand new fry that couldn't have been a week old if that they <laughs> minuscule I'm talking like a quarter inch so I put them down in the sump to give them their best shot um, they probably went and hid inside all the bio we'll see what happens there not sure but for now everybody's doing well and um, you know I think given the scenario this is going about as well as it could have gone for now um, temporarily this does work long term definitely not ideal don't want to mix some bunas with peacocks and hats as much as possible sometimes you can get away with it some people do it some people mix different cichlids that shouldn't be together sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but you know as a lot of us like to say in this industry when you're keeping fish is that it will always work until it doesn't and you need to realize that there's a strong possibility in a lot of cases that that day that it doesn't is absolutely going to come so again that's why this is temporary that's why we have this big old free space of wall over here hint hint i will see you guys some point in the middle of this week and we'll talk more about what's going on over here don't want to kind of reveal everything yet but i'll keep hinting at it so until then Enjoy this fine edition of Sunday Swim, and while you're at it, if you were kind enough to watch until the end, then let me know what you think is going on over there, outside of the obvious. But take your best guess on what we're going to do, and um, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of Sunday Swim, and I will catch you back up. A little bit later in this week and have a great Sunday everybody go birds